Hey guys, let's talk about commander cards, especially cards that were not reprinted. Commander cards, there's not many of them around. I'm talking about original commander, of course. So the supply of cards like Avatar of Slaughter is very low. So whenever you see something at 78 cents and it's only been printed one time and that time was in 2013, over three years ago, you have to look at the card price and say, hmm, is this a card that can potentially spike in price? Now, it does help that a certain group of MTG finance people are buying this card out. There was a recent article. I'm not going to get into too much detail about it, but essentially said buy this card and buy it now. Let's buy it together. So Avatar of Slaughter goes all the way from $0.78, cents, which it has always been there, to $8.81 pretty much overnight. Um, as soon as the article hit on the 19th, today is the 21st. So in the span of two days from when the article is written, the price just spikes like crazy. Now, I do want to take some time to warn you guys against these articles, especially paid articles. There has to be other motivation to write the article that isn't... A lot of times there, has, there is interest. Um, there is bias and there's interest in promoting this card because perhaps one of the article writers has a lot of this. So they write the article, a bunch of people buy the card. The key here is the card has to be extremely limited in supply and have some playability. It doesn't have to be a great card. It doesn't have to be a card that trades like hotcakes. It just has to have a limited supply. And when you talk about the original Commander cards that only had a one reprint, or not even, I think this is not reprinted. It might be reprinted in the anthologies. I'm not exactly sure, but outside of being Commander, it could have been reprinted one time in an anthology set. Very limited supply in the card, and therefore it is easy to spike the card if you have 100 people buy a playset of it, and there's not 400 copies out there. I don't know, I'll get into a more detailed description of why I believe MTG Finance is, and why I don't personally like it that much, although I do have fun with it. Mainly because it's the same group of people promoting themselves and cards they have lots of. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, there's only a few different voices. There's not that many people who are talking about MTG Finance because it's a very niche topic. And I feel like the more voices you have and the more you encourage those people to talk about it and the more you prop them up instead of tear them down, the better the community will be. And yes, that does fall on me somewhat uh, to do that as well and I haven't been very good at it. Anyway, I will try. Bye guys.